Hello YouTube, and welcome to Simple Solutions with AI. I'm your host, Colby, and in this channel, we'll be exploring a wide range of topics where we use AI to help with various wants and goals. So whether you're a tech enthusiast, business owner, or just someone looking to simplify their life, this channel is for you. So let's get started and discover some simple solutions with AI. All right. So today we're going to be making an app. I've yet to do this, so hopefully this goes well. I just want it to be something simple. I looked into all the things I think I need by asking ChatGPT, um, and I'm going to give them to you because I think I'm set up to make this app. And I think if you want to make your first app, then this is a great how-to video for somebody who's never made an app before in their life using ChatGPT and seeing what you can come up with. So I asked it some generic questions stating, um, I'm looking to make an app. This is my first app I've ever made. How do I go about making an app for Android? So it lists a few steps for me. Um, I don't know how to program. I don't know any of this other stuff. So I went to the download and install Android Studio. I went to the website. Um, I said, if I install the Android Studio IDE, what website do I need for the SDK? I asked this because it's talking about all these fancy words I have no idea about. So it basically answered, if I just go straight to this website here, download what I need from that website, it gives me the software development kit. That's the SDK that it's talking about. Um, it ends up giving you different things like Google Maps or whatever. Um, maybe Firebase has a couple different tools. I think it's just the tools and the libraries to help you with your app and processes. So I did ask it to explain what an SDK is because I'm new to this. I've never built an app before. And if it can give me a bit more detail, I think it would have helped me with my video. I, of course, didn't read this because um, I'm lazy and I'm a bit rushed. I wanted to get my app made. I'm a bit excited. I'd hope it would be able to help me a little bit further. This is very detailed. I could have asked it to summarize it, but I can come back to what an SDK is another time. Um, it talks about the APIs that I may need so I can get different tools like Google Maps, the play services, media functions, calendars, things along those lines. Um, I'm just trying to make this pretty freaking simple. So if you want to add more APIs, from my understanding, this right here is what you need to get all the fun functions in an app to get a really advanced thing going. So we're going to go for simple now, but basically if you're going to do something a lot more in depth, look into the different APIs, download those, and move forward from there. Um, I'm just asking it something basic. With the program Android Studio, what app could I make without downloading or installing anything further? Just that alone, okay? So it says it's a pretty basic core SDK um, and you can actually do some simple stuff on here. So it's got a couple categories, a simple calculator app, note taking app, to do list app. I've seen a lot of people make this video right here. So I don't want to do the to do list app. I've seen it. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to go for the calculator app just because it's a bit different and I want to try out making my own thing without being like I've got references from before. So first of all, here's the website that it gives you. I went straight to the website, copied the URL. It's also a hyperlink. If you just click on it from ChatGPT right here, it sends you to this website. You click that right there. It downloaded the well, first time I went through this. It also told me to download these from JavaScript. So if you look here at this website oracle.com slash java slash technology slash downloads there's a couple of downloads whether you're linux mac or windows that can also help you get i believe these are the apis that i was talking about a little bit of help from java um, that or maybe if your android studio doesn't work you need some of these javascripts for it to work on your computer now we need to do a new chat we need to start our app function we've done all the rest we've asked it the questions we know we want to make a calculator app so we put in a quick easy question that i've already lined out for us please provide a sample code for a simple calculator app and guide me through the process of adding it to my project in android studio by providing two steps at a time so I can move at my own pace. I hit enter and it's probably gonna kick out a whole bunch of fun stuff for me to get this code. 
here's a sample code for a simple calculator app in Java. And it spits out code. I mean, just instantly. I love this feature, this copy code up here. That's going to make that much easier. And hopefully it tells me exactly how to put this into Android Studio. I have it down here in the bottom. Um, but my goodness, I would not want to type all this. If you've made a code be or an app before, I suppose this looks familiar and probably very basic and simple. I've never done anything like this. I'm not a big tech guy in the first place. So to ask a question like that and see it spit out this much tells me that a calculator app probably isn't as simple as I thought it was. And I have no idea what all went into going to make every other app on my phone. So. This is good stuff. This is exciting. I'm glad this makes it a whole bunch easier for somebody who's sitting at home who doesn't have a freaking clue about this either. I hope this gives you some relief. If you're making an app for your new job, whether it's mobile detailing or you're just trying to schedule stuff, you do Shopify things, I don't know what your business is at home. If you need a basic app idea, this has it. This does it. I mean, it's writing my whole code for me right now. I mean, this is just going. I'm, I'm assuming I will just copy and paste it over, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I'm ready for my step-by-step -step instructions. I wonder if this is the whole thing. Um, okay, here it is. Create a new project in Android Studio and name it Simple Calculator. Do a new project. There's a whole bunch of little samples. They can give you some basic layouts, Google Maps, and activities. Um, so at this point, just click no activity. This is what we're changing. Calculator app. Okay. Then I click finish. Get off that. And this will load a little bit more. What was step two? Since it didn't finish loading. I think the first thing was just a bit too much for it. So it just froze up instead of finishing step two. But and the necessary UI elements such as edit text for the numbers, buttons for the operations, and text view for the results. Make sure to give these elements appropriate IDs so that they can be referenced in the main activity class code. You can add UI elements either by writing XML code manually or by using built-in drags. Okay, so the code above, what do I do with that. There. Create a new Java class file on the project, name it main activity. This is where you'll put the sample code I provided. Make sure the class name and package name match the project and the necessary import statements to the top of the main activity class. Okay, so I got to copy this. Copied. Um, and it says add that. XML into the main activity. Okay, well, let's start there. So from here you go to app and Java or res. So in res this should have a layouts function. If it doesn't click new Android resource file and then make the file type layout and I would just name it layout. So this is where I got stuck when making my app. This is where most people are probably getting stuck at home. And then it comes up with a screen like this. So you can split it between what is your app going to look like, your design and your code on the left, or just do your code. So if we're doing just code, we hit new layout resource file. This one is going to be the activity main. Okay, with the activity main, we go to the code, delete that, whoops, copy over it, and paste. And as you can see in this top right corner, we've got our check mark. There's no problems found. This is, this is an app. This would make a calculator right here, right now. So if I click play, it's connected to my phone, which I should be able to show you I believe. Oh, nice. Good. There's errors. We like that. So, if there's errors, when all in doubt, copy, 
put this in. I gave it this code and it, oh, we gotta put our code. Paste. And it has errors. Please help. Boom. The IDs of the UI elements in the sample code do not match the IDs of the elements you have in your project. Please double check the IDs of your UI elements in the activity main file and make sure that they match the IDs in the activity class. For example, um, the main activity class in the edit text for the first number is referenced using the ID number one. So make sure the edit text in your activity main Excel file also has the ID number one. Additionally, you may want to add some validations in the input fields, like making sure they are not empty. So not only does it write code, you can give it back the code, it can tell you what's wrong with the code, it can tell you where to put in all this extra information. I really have no idea what the UI elements are. I can look more into this, but this should be able to help you make your app at home. If you've got any errors and you have enough time to spend to say, hey, what is a UI element? Okay, thanks for writing my code. Let's put it in here. Oh, we even have errors in the code. Well, I can't go back through this and understand what string is. I don't know what string theory is either. So at that point, you just ask it. it tells you what's wrong with your code. You can ask it to fix it. It tells you exactly where to go and put in your numbers. Then you've corrected your UI elements and hopefully have a simple calculator app or whatever works best for you. If you have suggestions, let me know in the comments. Thanks.